everybody i'm back again with another video and this video is going to be a story time video so i put a poll on my community tab and as you can see right here y'all decided that y'all wanted a story time next okay all right we can do a story time so i meant to do this video a long time ago because uh i had thought about it and i usually write down when i think of uh, different story times i usually write them down in this notebook that i have so this is going to be a really quick story time but i just wanted to go ahead and tell y'all about this because it was just weird okay Okay, so this happened back when I was in high school. I used to work at Walmart when I was in high school. Here's a picture right here. As y'all can see, I worked at Walmart. When I worked at Walmart, um, it was like a group of us that used to hang out together all the time. I'm talking about we used to go to the store together. We used to go to parties together. We just used to kick it together all the time, right? And there was one particular girl out of that group that I used to kick it with the most. Like, we would hang out with each other outside of that group of people that worked at Walmart together. And so, I would consider her my friend, okay? I really would. One particular day, uh, before I got up to get ready to go to school, because this did happen when I was in high school, I I got a phone call on my phone which was very weird because I got this call from my friend's mama right she was on the phone saying um you need to come get your friend I'm putting her out right now come get her and come get all her stuff right now because she gotta get out of my house and I was like Huh? <laughs> you call me telling me this? It's like 7 in the morning. You call telling me this? I ain't even got up. I ain't brushed my teeth. I ain't did nothing. You call it telling me that you putting your daughter out the house and you want me to come get her? Another, you know, teenager to come get her or whatever? I'm like, mm, it's weird. Okay, so I, um... I shoot a text message to my friend. I was like, what's going on? And she was like, my mama's putting me out. Um, she's telling me I got to get out uh, all my stuff at her house by a certain time and all this other stuff like that, right? And I was like, dang, that's messed up. Your mama putting you at the house? And... It wasn't like we was 18 or something, y'all. We was young. And I was like, dang, your mama putting you at the house or whatever. And uh, so I, being the nice person that I am, which is like, sometimes I hate how nice I am to people. I was like, um, I'm coming over there. I want to help you or whatever, right? So I go over there and I tell her, I was like, look, you can just drive my car and do whatever you need to do because I got to go to school, right? <laughs> uh, like, I wasn't to the point where I was skipping school yet. So I used to actually go to school every day and stay there all day, even though I had my own car. I hadn't got to that point where I was skipping school. So um, I, I went over there and I picked her up and I told her, I was like, okay, I, I'm, I'm basically dropping myself off at school and I'm letting her drive my car for the rest of the day. And then I told her, I was like, okay, Okay, girl, do what the do do what the hell you gotta do. Get all your stuff and take it to wherever you need to go, and make sure you get here at two fifteen because I get out of school at two fifteen, right? Because I used to be on like this little jag program where you used to get out of school early so you can go to work, but I ain't never go to work until like five o'clock. So I would get out of school at two fifteen, then I'd be chilling until five o'clock. But that's a whole nother story. <laughs> that's a whole nother story. So uh, basically, we uh, get to my school. I get myself out, get my backpack or whatever, and I go in school, do my little school work, whatever, right? All right, so all throughout the day, I'm texting her or whatever, just checking up on her to see if she okay. She was like, yeah, I'm okay. I got all my stuff. I'm um, I'm going to move my stuff to my boyfriend's house or whatever. I was like, okay, girl, whatever. Do what you got to do. Come get me at 2.15 because I'm, I'm getting out of class at 2.15, right? And she was like, okay, girl, I got you. All right, so y'all, 2.15 come, and guess what? She ain't there, okay? She ain't there. I wasn't tripping too hard off off of it at first until I was sitting out there. It was like 2.30, 2.45, 3 o'clock, 3.15, 3.15, 3 3.30. Girl, where the hell you at, right? Why why you ain't here? I get out of school at 2.15. I told you that this morning. Why the hell you not here? So um, I get I get her on the phone. I'm like, Doo -doo, girl, where you at? And she was like, oh, it's traffic. And I'm like, traffic? 215. It's 215. Traffic. Where are you at? Ain't no traffic at 215. And I was like, okay, whatever. And so I sat there and I waited until she came. And so I'm sitting outside of the school and I see my car pull up around, like pull up 
on the street that, that comes in front of the school and, and turning into the school. I'm like, okay, they, they got my car right there. I was like, okay, I started grabbing my book bags and stuff and I hear the music bumping, because yeah, I had some speakers in my car. I had speakers in my car. Like, like it's bumping, right? And I was like, oh, okay, girl, whatever. And y'all, y'all won't believe what I seen when my car pulled up. Y'all won't believe it. Why when she why when she pulled up her boyfriend was driving my car and she was in the passenger side like what's going on here like what, what, why is he driving my car and so like I was so confused when it when it first happened because I was like what like I I let you borrow my car like anybody that had a car in high school or even now you have a car, you really don't let people borrow your car, especially when you in high school, you don't let anybody else drive your car. And so I thought that I was being a good friend by letting her drive my car with the hopes that she would do what she's supposed to do while I was, um, you know, at school. So her boyfriend come pulling up in my car, she in the passenger seat like it's nothing like, uh. and I'm sitting there like, the hell? And it ain't no stuff in the car. Like, it it don't look like she been moving boxes or anything or whatever. So, I get in the car. Mind you, I don't even get in the driver's seat or the passenger seat. I get in the back. What the hell's wrong with me? I don't know. But I got in the back maybe because I was just so shocked and confused as to what was happening. And so, it just seemed like to me that they knew that they did something that they was not supposed to do because I didn't say anything y'all i just got in the car and i was just looking so damn confused i never said anything the whole ride all of a sudden we end up at the gas station all of a sudden my gas tank on full all of a sudden we at a restaurant all of a sudden they come bringing me out plates of food at this restaurant we talking about all types of stuff y'all they gave me so much food and i still haven't said a word right because i was just so shocked I'm like, dude, why do you have this dude driving my car? You supposed to be my friend. I let you borrow my car, not your, your boyfriend or whatever, right? So I never said anything. We get to his house and he basically dropped himself off at his house or whatever. And, um, and she go in there with him and I'm driving back home or whatever. And I'm still confused. I don't know why I never said anything. Y'all, I don't know why I didn't say anything. I guess I was just shocked. And so, um, the next day, like after that, I went home or whatever. I didn't say anything to her. I didn't text her. I didn't call her or whatever. But the next day I was going in my back seat to get something and y'all I found receipts of stores that they didn't went to I didn't I didn't found like y'all know those little papers that you get from the doctor's office um after you leave or whatever I didn't found papers of that showing that they didn't went to the doctor's office they didn't did some of everything in my car other than move something they ain't moved nothing okay they was out running errands in my car and she wanted to go um hang out with her boyfriend so like she came up with this elaborate lie to tell me that she was getting put out her mama house which is kind of weird like because the reason why i say that she came up with this lie is because eventually she ended up back at her mama house like it wasn't like a days we talking about a day then she was right back at her mama house or whatever and so like I was confused as to what happened and why did she tell me that she was getting put out and and she was talking about she had to move all her stuff out her mama house and all this other stuff like that but yet I go in my car and I found all these receipts and stuff of places that y'all have been to that didn't have anything to do with you moving your stuff and so here's the weird part about this whole situation y'all know she stopped talking to me I didn't say anything about any of this stuff to her stuff that i found in my car when she pulled up and um, her boyfriend was in the driver's seat of my car and then how they bribed me by putting gas in my car and feeding me real good and i didn't say anything about me being hungry or needing gas in my car that should that should 
tell you how much they was driving my car that day because they had to fill my gas tank up. And I never said any of this to her because I just didn't know how to address the situation. So it was weird to me that she stopped talking to me, right? Like she completely cut me off. Like she just stopped talking to me altogether. She never, she never said anything else after that day, which is weird as hell. Another thing that was really weird about this situation is that remember in the beginning of the story that I told y'all that um, I used to hang around a group of people that worked at Walmart and then me and her was just like a little branch off of that, that group that used to hang together at Walmart. Y'all know when that situation happened with her, everybody stopped talking to me. Like everybody in that whole group, nobody talked to me at all. Like they hung out with each other without me and she didn't talk to me this other girl that i was cool with didn't talk to me it was just weird everybody cut me completely off and i do not know why to this day i still don't know why i got cut off but i wasn't even the one that did something wrong i just thought that that was just so weird so weird so weird y'all tell me if i was wrong if i was wrong in that situation i don't see how i was wrong but i just i'm just confused as to how really really all i wanted her to do was to apologize to me like i'm not i'm not a mean person at all when people do stuff to me i don't really like i may get upset about it but i don't really say anything about it but for the most part i be wanting people to apologize to me uh because at least i know if you apologize then then i know that you at least cared enough to apologize and it's genuine but like with her she didn't apologize. She didn't address it. She didn't say anything. She just cut me off. So I was like, dang, we went to hanging out and talking on the phone with each other every single day to her completely cutting me off after that. I don't know what that was all about, but yeah, I had to do this story time because it was just something that I had written down in one of my little, um, my little tablets of uh, video ideas. And I wanted to go ahead and do this one because I just thought that that was so weird. Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know if that was weird. So yeah, that's the end of that story. But if you want more story times like this, because I have plenty more. Let me know down in the comment section below or go ahead and give me a thumbs up so I know that you like videos like this. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure that you subscribe and I'll see everybody in my next video. Peace.